this is our first sale. Yes! Ah, oh, perfection! This is literally the first sale we've ever had. Just the two of us without Phil or without Nick and Jason. And Southland. Look, beautiful. Quintessential Thai island vibes up there. So nice. Well, this is very satisfactory. What a beautiful morning here in Koh Samui. Uh, we're just anchored off Bopart Beach. And today we are actually leaving. We're gonna sail over to Koh Panyan, which is a very short sail. In fact, you can see Koh Panyan from here. There she is. Not far to go. Coffee first though. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place when we grew up. This old town just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide. So we could see and hear the water run the River's gonna cry when you're gone Engines, hey? It's like you touch the throttle and it just like jumps. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just going to secure the thingy. Anything else, Skipper? No. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you, and a big thanks to our community of patrons. Wow, it's very civilized up here. I can hardly hear a thing. Just like a gentle lapping of the waves. God, beautiful. I might try and get Nick up here. Hey, it is so nice. What's so nice? That one of us has to stay this Just way. for a minute. This is quite civilized, isn't it? Yeah. And Southland. Look, beautiful. Yeah. And honestly, it's perfect screecher weather. We've got to get that screecher fixed before we end up going back to where the, oh, yeah. yeah. Off the wind, that wind will, that will get us like nine, 10 knots. Well, I reckon, as I said, we had similar conditions on one of our test sails, and I reckon we were getting about seven and a half, eight knots. Actually, no, that's a lie. We've got 10 knots. Exactly. Yeah, no, you're right. I know. Not mm. there. Not there. Okay. I wish I had a wider lens. <laughs> These sails are just so incredibly beautiful. Ah, oh, perfection. I mean, I do mind that we don't have the street shot because that would be like the most incredible thing. But I have to say, this is still very, very, very pleasant. Exactly what I imagined when I thought about sailing around Thailand, to be honest. Just a nice gentle breeze pushing us along. Nice, quiet, comfortable boat. Happy days. So we are coming in to Koh Banyang, where the full moon party is not, apparently. Therese has told me that the full moon party is in a different bay, which thankfully, actually, yeah, it's a pretty good thing. Anyway, just look. So the last two miles, the last two nautical miles, literally we've come into the lee of the land. So we've got no, we have no 
uh, wind. Something that I want to talk to you about because everyone's about, what are, do you have enough solar? We've been at anchor for six days. We ran the engine once for an hour because we had to do lots of washing and make water. But, and this is the important thing, we are putting in, what the engine revs love? 1600 revs. We are putting in 300 amps. So we're putting 300 amps in using those masks of our alternators. That's phenomenal. Both engines running at 1600. Yeah, wow indeed. The last half an hour into the anchorage, that's gonna be all we need. We have a lot of washing to do. I think it's pretty fair to assume that the washing situation is uh, uh, ramping up again. I think that, you know, despite the fact that I've moved exclusively to wearing sarongs, the shirt that I've been wearing for the last two or three nights to go ashore, starting to smell a little bit vinegary. Uh, water maker when we get in and then washing machine and then sit back and have a celebratory um, cup of tea. And I think that while my initial thoughts are that, and I know that Therese is gonna, this is becoming Therese's like big issue is that the ice machine draws a shit ton of power. I think that probably prematurely running this boat without the ice machine it's self-sufficient under solar based on the weather we've been having and the anchorages that we've been in i think that maybe half an hour of motoring a week or running the engine for one or two hours a week will give us enough to make water and uh, run the what keep the washing machine running so that's where we are at the moment that's like two weeks of use mostly being at anchor an hour of motor sailing an hour of just running the engine at anchor just kind of like updating you on power management. I think that's where we are with it. Anyway, uh, I am, as I'm crew today, I'm not skippering. I have to go and get the anchor ready. All right. We're at six meters. I'm in reverse. We're 24. 29. Yep. Lord's instruction, just leave the engine running in neutral for two or three minutes and then cut them off, yeah? Why does Why? He just said it's good for the engines. I've never done it before, but that's what Phil said. Phil says that we do it. So this is nice. I know. Surf that. Yeah. You did very good at skipping. It's not real. Like, we always do things together. Well, can I just point something out to you that you may or may not have actually ever worked out today? This is our first sale. Yes, I know. We did it. Yes. We made it. <laughs> without anyone's help. <laughs> this is literally the first sale we've ever had. Just a tourist without Phil or Nick and Jason. Without Nick and Jason or someone else or someone else. So yeah, this is our first sale. This is why I didn't want to put the sweet shop because I realised, like, it would go terribly wrong and then we'll get angry and then. We'll, well, no. I just wanted our first sale together to be like Can't. free of exactly. and relatively speakable. I'm really pretty. Absolutely, and look where we ended up. This is lovely. Right, what's our battery doing? Have you checked? 88%, but we need to make some water. We've only got 20% water in our tank. Are you going to run the water maker now? Yes, we need water yeah. because I want to wash clothes and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. One five micron. So, why are we changing these out so soon? There is so much sediment in where we were. Yeah. The filters are blocked. And while I could wash them out, I think for the whole sake, the sake of all this, I think it's just easier if I just try and, the more times I do this procedure, like the more I'll understand it. Can I do it? Of course you can, there's not a lot to do, but. I will do it. Wow, they do look, they look gross. Mm -hmm. How many times have we won the wood maker with these new, those ones? One time. That's after one, that's crazy. Okay, so how do I do this? Okay, let me just do this one first. Now, purists will tell me that I have to uh, close all the sea cocks whilst I sink the boat doing this, right? Alright. I take it we haven't done that. No. Yeah? Yeah. Unscrew that one. Oh! Yeah. Take it to the sink. Put the five in there. Make sure this O ring is captive, not popped out. Yep. And then what you have to do is make sure that's in the middle. 
Sammy go. When this isn't clogged, it just is enough power pressure through here to just, yeah, see how it runs quietly now, like a hum? Yeah. So it sucked the air through the system. So is this the sound that you're making right now, or is it super loud? Well, it's a pump. That's all it is, right? So, see this? 215? Yep. So you've got to wait for that to come on. So are we actually needing to do anything? Oh, right. We just wait. There you go. What's this? Okay, now it's making water. Okay. And she's off. <laughs> <laughs> Not my most graceful moment. <laughs> attempt we uh, made it ashore barely there's a bit of swell in here as I think I've already shown and uh, we thought we picked like a calm patch of the beach but we were wrong <laughs> we ended up uh, going ashore in a very uncontrolled way dinghy went sideways half filled with water because a wave broke over it Nick just I just pushed the dinghy back out and Nick just reversed back because there was actually there was a bit of a, a set coming in anyway I swam back to the dinghy and we've come back to the boat because there's a load of water in the boat that we need to drain out. So can you let it down a little bit? <laughs> Alright, I'm in my bathers. Let's try that again. With the help of some very, very, very lovely men who I think own this other dinghy here, we got it pulled up onto the beach and we timed it so that we weren't <laughs> trying to pull up on the beach in the breaking waves. So that was really good. Okay, we're ashore. Oh. See, they're in a better spot because they're in the corner. There's not any swell in there. I know, we need a sand paddleboard. How are they going to do it? Right, feeling a little nervous about going. We have a very high nose dinghy. I think as long as one of us, and it's going to be you, you've got a stronger swimmer, yeah. is in front, keeping the nose straight forward. Okay. You have to swim out with the dinghy, and I will push the dinghy, and okay. I will get to the back of it. All right then. All right. That's fine. Between the sets. Between the sets. Ooh. That's going to be us in a couple of hours. <laughs> I get the feeling they're used to helping people get their boats out. Are you telling me there's a taxi service there? Oh, hello, Rooster. Good anyway. mate. Like a mighty fine spot, doesn't it? <laughs> Not bad. Well, this is very satisfactory. What is this? It's a sniper. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. How is it?
this, by the way, is a cannabis shop. Yeah, we know, babe. No, but I was telling the audience. Yeah, I think they know. <laughs> Those <laughs> Hello. I'm hoping that this is far more successful than I think it is. We all hope that. Uh, I think after this one is good. Ready this one? Okay. But we're just getting a float, right? You're not leaving. Well, I think after. Know. I think now. Oh, now go. There's there's flat water. <laughs> Wait a second. I take that back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Get in. Well, that was a very lovely evening and I'm very glad that we got ashore, got the dinghy ashore, went to the bar, had an amazing dinner and then beautiful view up there. Quintessential Thai island vibes up there. So nice. And I was pretty worried about the dinghy situation coming back, but we did it actually fairly well, I thought. Like, you know, better than I expected. Okay. I hope this episode was good for you, better than you expected. Nick, where are you? You want to say goodbye? <laughs> Pretty wrecked of Leo Beer. So yeah, we'll see you all next week with another scintillating episode where I will recant uh, my sins and uh, we'll film. Goodbye. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next week.